enchanté. I was looking on YouTube before I went to Paris for videos about Vanves because it had been a while since I'd been there and there aren't really any. So I decided to film some of our day going to my favorite flea market in Paris and I'm going to share that with you. But first I thought I'd do this in reverse. I thought I'd share with you what I found and where I've decided to put it in my home for now. Vanve is an excellent, excellent flea market to find old books. And if you've been any time on this channel, you know how much I love old books. These are gorgeous. I will tell you, you can get a deal even at a Paris flea market. I got all of these beautiful, beautiful leather bound books for less than $50. They're so pretty. They are so old and they have stories to tell just like I shared with you in my Paris highlights video last week, a French barometer. Now, the funny story is I found a really big one good size, that's one of my dream antiques. And they're usually about $1,000, which is not in my budget. I found one for 250 euro, which is right about $250 right now. And it was four inches too big for my suitcase. You'll see in this video, I take my suitcase when I go to the flea market. Many of you know I load it full of bubble wrap, so I am prepared but I found this little cutie for about $20 and she will have to do for now. It's also a great place to score oil paintings. And I found this one. Look at this, these colors, they match our home so well. I love the studded edges. You can see it's very old. You will notice that most of the oil paintings are starting at a hundred and going up from there but if you just keep looking and you just keep trying, I found this one on the ground, propped up next to a truck for 20 euro. It's absolutely exquisite and it goes so perfect in this space. I have a few more treasures and then I promise you, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about getting to Valve and how you can go there with me. This is the kid corner of the living room. This is where the kids keep their books. I love the colors here, my little uh, mother artwork. I did find this. Now, I saw uh, something very, very similar to this book at another flea market for over 100 euro. I got this for 40. This took a lot of weight in my suitcase. I just loved the colors in this room next to our red leather couch and the rug and the Egyptian theme. My son loves ancient Egypt. Just, just absolutely beautiful. And so it's just propped up here. I think it looks great. Now, one more item that I'll share with you. There were lots of things that I brought home, but a few I wanted to share with you today is this gorgeous piece of bronze artwork. I haven't been able to find any information on the artist, but that is okay because she's so beautiful. And I've got her here on my bookcase and she is definitely a treasure. If you would like to find some treasures, of course, watch the rest of this video because I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about getting to the Vaughn flea market and or you can come with me next year. I have a trip in April and a trip in October. On each trip, I'm taking eight people. I have three spots left for the April trip and just two left for October. So click the link in this video description or wait till the end and simply click on the Eiffel Tower to find out how you can come to Paris with me in 2023. But right now, let's head to Paris and I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about the Vaughn flea market. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. It is a beautiful day in Paris and we are headed to Vanf, which is one of my favorite flea markets. I'm going to give you all the ins and outs of this incredible experience and hopefully find some treasures in the meantime. So we are heading to Les Pousses de Vanf and I need some coffee first. Pousse simply means flea, so this flea market starts nice and early at 7 a.m. In fact, it's held only on Saturdays and Sundays, so you'll want to plan your Paris vacation itinerary accordingly. 
Depending on where you're staying in Paris, you may need to make a metro transfer to get there. I typically stay on the left bank and need to transfer at Montparnasse Bienvenue. And from there, I take line 13 in the direction of Châtillon Montrouge. Your stop is Porte de Vanf, and the flea market is about a five minute walk away. The market is located in the 14th arrondissement. You know you're getting close when you see the, all the white vans. And it's located on the Avenue Georges Lafenestre. There's about 400 merchants and the market spans quite a few blocks. Unlike Saint-Ouen, this is a weekly pop-up, so wares are spread out on tables, and there really is a beautiful sense of community as you listen to the banter and the camaraderie between the vendors. find it best to bring cash with you as most vendors do not accept plastic and you'll want to be prepared to carry your purchases with you which is why I always bring a suitcase or a pull cart. What you'll find ranges from linens to 18th century antiques, there's vintage clothing, oil paintings, leather bound books and more and the prices are extremely fair with most vendors willing to haggle just a little bit. Oh, hein, c'est encore, il va me sortir cet enfoiré-là, 2 et 6, 2 et 6. etiquette. In France, they are a polite society, and so it's wonderful to greet your vendor with a bonjour madame or bonjour monsieur. Bonjour. Bonjour monsieur. Hello, ça va? It may sound formal to you, but this is a lovely, common way of greeting someone, even at a flea market. If you don't speak French, for the most part, you needn't worry. They will hear your accent, and many will automatically switch to English. But if you'd like to take your own politeness even a step further, a simple « c'est combien » is an easy way to ask how much something is. Never panic because someone within earshot is going to hear you speak English and help you out. But for heaven's sake, you simply must make the effort when you are in someone else's country. If you are going to ask for a discount on an item, be courteous and remember they found the item, they've often cleaned it and lugged it here to be set up by sunrise, this is not the place to wear your very best outfit and look like a million bucks and then insist that a merchant take 50% off their wares. Try to do everything in very good taste. Around 11, 11.30, you will notice some vendors beginning to pack up for the day. This may be your chance to circle back for an item that you thought was a bit pricey. Chances are they don't want to pack it up and take it with them. If all else fails, quit shopping and simply enjoy the fabulous people watching. There are countless cafes in the area, and if you came on Saturday, you could always get up on Sunday morning and try again. I hope you enjoyed our time together at that wonderful market. Check the links below if you'd like information on coming to Paris with me for a flea market excursion. And of course, stick around, watch this video right here. Make sure you are a member of the Old World Design Society by clicking this white circle right here. And I will see you again very soon. Bye -bye.